mean, it's only three days left until Christmas. I mean, I told them to be here. They're two minutes late. Okay, let's go. Everyone in places. I'm to have a nice break here. Fun. Alright. Okay, okay. Alright, alright. Now, let's start with warm-ups. Um, la 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 la
look up, Jamie. Noel. Noel? You know, like, the first Noel, the angels to I'm familiar with the song. Um, yeah, but the word Noel isn't in the Bible either. It isn't? Well, how could that be? I don't know. I thought that the, oh, the New Testament was written in uh, Greek, but the word Noel is French. Oh, well, I don't know, look up, look up Silent Night for me. You know, like, Silent Night, Holy Yeah, 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 I know, everybody knows that. But once again, I can say it was a lot of time. Silent Night wasn't in the Bible. It wasn't? As a matter of fact, there's a lot of evidence that the night wasn't silent at all. That's not how I remember it. Well, according to the Bible, there was a loud chorus of angels singing praises to the newborn king. Well, how big! So the angels sang fire! Perhaps in Hebrew it sounds better. <laughs> oh. So there's no fa la 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 in the Bible? Yeah. Anything else? Haram, hum, hum, hum. Haram, hum, hum, hum. Nope. A little girl boy. Let's see. Um. Nope. I'm sorry. There's no reference in the concordance for either drum or drummer boy. Well, I think you're mistaken. I happen to know that the ox and lamb at the time. Yeah. <laughs>
and Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And it shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the be wrapped with swallowing clothes, lying in a manger. <coughs> Oh! 
sorry. Will you worship him in Jordan? I told you, getting closer to the shot. How else is the story going to be Good evening. At least long we didn't just walk into first century Jerusalem. What a story. Hi, we're from your local newspaper. The Daily News. The People's Parchment. With all the news. For all people. We heard about the kid and we'd like to make him our front page story. With shots of him. <coughs> we might make the stop presses. We could give it a spin. A late, late arrival at the end. A heading. A picture with your permission. Mother and baby. In stable condition. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's keep it simple. Just the kid in the shop. The baby in the manger. They'll like it. A lot. <laughs> Aww. Who's the coochie coochie coo? <laughs> Can you get it to smile? Maybe, um... Mary. Uh, Mary, the mother, could sit with the child. Look loving. Look humble. Look down a bit. <laughs> yeah, except for the light. What about you? Who? Joseph, the dad. Oh, yeah. We must have you. How about you come right over here, stand behind your wife, and put your arms lovingly around your wife's shoulders? Now, look down at the lad. Silent but strong. I like it. That's how I'm going to call you, Mr. Frost. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I have some shepherds in the back. Dressed in dribs and drabs. So it makes it authentic. We'll make it a feature. Could we make them dress up? At least a little? You mean just for one shot? I would feel a lot better if I could help arrange this thing a bit better. Alright, I don't see why not. Where are your sheets anyway? Oh yeah, where are your sheets too? Although, it'll look a little bit like a zoo. You don't have any sheaths? Wow, we'll, we'll have to improvise. You, can you just come over here? Yeah, just kneel right yeah, down there. Yeah, on the floor right there. Uh -huh.
the spirit of this season. We're staying open until midnight tonight and tomorrow night for your Christmas shopping pleasure. From the friendly management of Scott Center, we'll, we will be selling things half price. Ladies' winter stockings are 60% off, men's ties, 40% off, Nike shoelaces, 70% off, and all purchases over $1,000 in one receipt will win you a lucky drop on a luxurious holiday trip to Hawaii. Now, who doesn't want that? Um, what was that? Okay. Um, excuse me, we have a baby on level three. Can this mother please come and get him? Thank you for your attention, and have a happy holiday. Oh. Oh, there he is. I Thank hope, you. I only left him for a second. <laughs> it's just so easy to lose what's important during this Christmas rush. You're telling me. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. And Merry Christmas to you. And a prosperous New Year. So, would you guys look up all you wanted to know about Christmas? Weren't you the person? You? What would you know about Christmas? I know that Christmas is nothing without Christ. It's just mess. I mean, a big mess. And that God came down for a very special reason. You. For me? But why? Look at what we've done to Christmas. Santa, mistletoe, fig trees. We've done away with Jesus. Imagine, suppose a woman has ten precious silver coins and loses one. Does she not sweep the ground and search vigorously until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice for me, for I have found my lost coin. In the same way I tell you, in the repentance of one sinner, there is rejoicing in the presence of God's angels. Angels? <coughs> angels? Have you read the papers recently? Oh, look what we've done to Christmas. <coughs> Where's God in all of this? In here. And in here. So, there's this man who had two sons, and he divided his wealth between them. <coughs> but soon, his younger son took his half and took off for a distant country, where he wasted all his money, alcohol and drugs. Yeah, general wild living. But after he had spent everything, <coughs> there was a severe famine in the whole land, and he was broke. And so he went, and he carried himself out. But he got him a less eat than the pigs was eating. No one gave him anything. And so he came to his senses, said, all right. I know. He said, how many of my father's hired men have food, and here I am, starving to death. I'll go home and say, Dad, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. Then he got and went to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and hugged him. And his son said to him, I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father felt differently and said to everyone, Quick, let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He is lost in his death. So they began to celebrate. Meanwhile, his older brother became angry, and he refused to come in. And his father went to him, and he, he said, That's right. He said, My son, you are always with me, and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate, because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is now found. So is that what God has done for us? More so. God loves us so much, so much so, that he sent his one and only faithful son, the one who remained loyal to go meet his brothers and sisters, and having done so, died a horrible death for our sins. And that's the meaning of the name of Jesus Christ today. Love, forgiveness, being saved. God didn't condemn his son, the world, but he sent his son to save it, and we are set free by Jesus. That's why we have the story of Christmas. Because Jesus was born sinless and lived sinless. Because he was God, but human also. All of us humans are sinful, no matter how hard we try not to be. But Jesus was sinless. And that's why we celebrate Christmas, for God's love. So that's why we need to keep Christ in Christmas.
heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven.